how friendly were you guys during this season? Do you guys you, you guys hang out a lot, or did yeah. you guys kind of you know get to know each other a little bit? But now you're gonna. Well, that's the thing. It's just like when you you get to know each other and you're hanging out and stuff like that. But it's it's like totally different now because even since then that season we have like a new studio where we're all working together and to be yeah, to be dancing together. It's like starting over. It's definitely odd, but it'll be fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what What did you guys think when you you know first found out my partner Derek, my partner Sean? What What was going through your mind? Start with Sean. I was pretty excited. Really? Yeah. Are you nervous? Yeah. Why? Because. I was like, like, Derek's, he, he gets mean sometimes. <laughs> I don't know. Heard you're pretty intense. Really? No. <laughs> oh, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> no. I actually want to know this, ladies and gentlemen. What was your first thought when you thought? I was really excited. Yeah? You, yeah. I believe you. Okay. What was your first thought? I was really excited. I don't believe you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I really was. I was really pumped. I mean, I've, obviously, I know Sean, and I'm from the past, and, you know, and also, also, like, I'm just a big fan of Olympics and the sport, and I have so much respect for it. Mm -hmm. So I have massive respect for this woman right here, and, uh, yeah. So. I have massive respect for you. Yeah, and that's what a relationship's all about. Yes. In life and in partnerships. <laughs> respect. Well, you won your season. You've won multiple seasons. Do you guys think you're kind of coming in there? you got to brush your shoulders off a little bit. You guys got this. No. Yeah. There's no <laughs> sense of, like, oh, yeah, man. Because the past is the past, and that's what makes this season so interesting, because there's been six past winners on the show. And there's a lot of good dancers on the show. Yeah, and yeah. good pairings. What does that make you feel like when everybody says you're the one to be? It makes me excited. I don't know. It motivates me. I'm a competitor. Yeah. Great. Right. I like that. I like I that. I want to live up to the hype. Oh, yes. <laughs> Word up. But you know what the thing is? I feel like everybody has expectations. Yeah. Everyone. You know... Gio, Melissa, Emmett Smith, Elio Castroneves, Paul Anton Ono. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody sort of has a standard and that they have to sort of exceed, have exceeded in order to sort of compete in this uh, in this field. So, damn, I better get to work. Be right back. <laughs> now, I know this is your first day together, but can you already start comparing Mark to Derek? What's the diff What's the dynamic? How does oh, it change? Gosh. Can you say anything yet? Did you be found anything out yet? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> This is this is where it gets awkward. I'm yeah, like, yeah, this is where it gets a little awkward. Yeah. Right now. So what's the difference? <laughs> <laughs> you were in the same moment as the Fierce Five were. They're coming off the Olympics. They're all going back to kind of everyday life. What advice do you have for them? Um, it's just gonna be a whirlwind for them. They're traveling the country right now, doing all the media. They're getting ready to go on a 50-some city tour wow. across the U.S. And it's gonna be crazy, but it's a lot of fun. It's the first time they're gonna be able to relax and. I got to say bye to them and congratulations after they won and they deserve this time so they'll have a good one. Well Gabby's my teammate. She's from, or she trains in Iowa with me and watching her was like watching my little sister but I was so proud to see the progress she's made over the past couple of years and um, the confidence she had on the floor and she's worked really hard for it. She sacrificed a lot as well so she deserved it. Did you think she was going to take that all around? Uh, I hope so. I've seen how hard she's worked over the past two years, and I knew she deserved it, but it's just a matter of like if the judges will agree, and they did. Are you ready to step back onto this, this dance floor? You ready? I, yes. I, I actually texted her. I was like, hey, babe, are you ready to you ready to do this again? She's like, I don't know what I got myself into. <laughs> I'm, so I'm so scared. I was like, don't worry about it. Because you know what? Here's the thing. It's an all-star season, and mm. essentially it's sort of a celebration of all sort of you know, fan favorites and the best, and so I feel like that try to take the pressure off a little bit, just sort of really enjoy it. You've already experienced it once, so just have a blast with it, you know what I mean? It'll be competitive, but I feel like that it's more of a celebration. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, have fun. And I'm lying, it's totally competitive. I want to kill <laughs> yeah. everyone. I think it's this, this season, I have to admit, it's going to be a little more competitive than other seasons. I'm just saying, uh, you can't play that. It's true. We're gonna, everybody's a competitor. No, it's, it's true. It's true. I, I already sense it. Yeah. There is a competitive competitiveness because mm -hmm. if you think about it at least at least five people are going to know what it feels like mm -hmm. to lose that have only ever won yeah. so that's going to be a weird dynamic when they asked did you guys both say yes right away to come back mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> not no <laughs> so it was a tough decision well when i he found out i had her mean. he was like oh i'm going to have to think about it i a did bit. i was thinking about doing a runner i was i was like you know at the wedding and just doing a runner down the aisle, just sprinting. <laughs> but then away, I saw that little face cancer. and I was like, I can't, I can't bail on this one. <laughs> okay.
not this. Not I this found it. I had you, and I was like, I'm gonna have to think about it. Did you? But now you're here, and you really have to just make the best of it. I know. Damn it. No, um, I tell you what, it, this one though, she's she's super, super, like I'm crazy. She is crazy. You're yeah. you're out of control. I know. Yeah. Look I at gotta, her. Wow. Gotta, oh. Excuse me. Calm down. Calm down. <laughs> calm down, Sean Johnson. And that's the thing too. I can't even call her by her first name. It has to be the whole package, Sean Johnson. Like just everybody call. else. Is that true too? Yeah. Dang it. They're I like, I was being like original. what's up, Sean Johnson? I'm like, no, my name's Sean. They're like, okay, Sean Johnson. Oh, I'm see, sorry. I thought I was being all original and stuff. All right, never mind. I guess Why do you think that is? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> just flows. Just they don't yeah. want to confuse you it with Sean Lyon or anything like that. Like, yeah. Right, yeah. right. Um, okay, let's talk. So we talked about Geals, um, some of your competition. There's uh, Emmett, who's also won. Mm -hmm. Drew, who's also won, mm -hmm. is your competition. And then there's Kelly Monaco, mm -hmm. who was the number one, the first person to win the Mirabelle. Do you guys see her as any competition, or is this competition completely changed since then? No, this competition is so wide open right now. It's crazy. Um, I honestly, even if we went out there and did like the craziest, most incredible routine and we're flying through the ceilings and doing flips and tricks and got five of tens, which is not possible, but um, it still doesn't matter because there's the, the, the audience and there's who's, who's their favorites, who they remember was their favorite, who's our new favorite. Yeah. There's so many factors that go into the season, it's crazy. And I normally can be like, okay, let me try to strategically plan this you out really a little bit. Can't. Have no idea yeah. right now. Yeah. I mean, hopefully we'll know. You guys don't sneak into each other's rehearsals. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, you do. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> we said yes, yes, Elio. Elio was dancing, and there was like Apollo in that door, Kelly in that door. I was in that door. There was someone upstairs, we're sneaking. like all sneaking in, trying to watch. We were, and it, and it's and it's everybody has such. Everybody's won for a certain reason, or if they haven't won, have gotten really close, um, for a reason. And so when you watch them. You know, they were the best of that season, so yeah. it's, it's going to be crazy. Do you worry that the people who haven't won are going to have that drive more than the people who 100%. have won? 100%. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, I don't know if more. I don't think they have the more drive, but they definitely have the drive. They definitely have, like, a something to prove mentality, I think. You so know? you just squash them like the little bugs they are. <laughs> well, no, no. No, everybody is working hard. It's crazy. It's Because, it's, you know, the first week, normally it's like, hey, how you doing? Nice right. to meet you. Oh, awesome. We're going to have such a great time. I have no idea what's coming my way. If, and if I did, I yeah. probably wouldn't be here. <laughs> but now they do. They know what's, what's um, you know, coming up. And, and now we're just, like, super focused and super in the game. All right. Okay. Except for me. us, we're sort of yeah. crazy. Oh, and right. <laughs> yeah. You guys fit together well. Like she's sort of the perfect. She kind for of you. fits right here. <laughs> she's there's like a little nuzzle. Like come, come here. It's okay. It's okay. Sometimes I misplace her though. Yeah. I'll be dancing with her. I'm like Sean, Sean, <laughs> Sean. I'm like oh god, oh god. There you are. He, like, he likes the short jokes. Yeah. I don't, it's just. Is she officially the the smallest competitor that you've danced with? Um, Am I smaller than Lil' Kim? Are you? I don't know. I think her and Lil' Kim were quite quite close. Yeah. But it's definitely a different um, different sensation. For sure. Different sensation. Yes. <laughs> what does that even mean? A sensation. It's like it's dancing with somebody. It's like a sensation that you feel. It's sensational, really, is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> How long have you guys been working on this? Um, About a week. Week. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's only a weekend. One week, but you know what? It's crazy because it, it's the first week normally on any other season <clears throat> is teaching them how to walk. You're like, okay, this is the left foot, this is the right foot. One's different from the other. Um, here's how to walk and hit. But now it's like I can go, hey, do this. She's like, oh yeah, I remember that. I remember that. So picking up things a lot quicker. Which and I feel like everybody's kind of feeling that way, yeah. so it's it's gonna be interesting. Do you feel like you're cheating though on Mark Ballas, who happens to be one of his best friends, since he's um, the one who brought you to the Mirror Ball Trophy? I actually did a little bit at first, but I feel like it's completely different. She's, I'm sorry. So basically, you don't anymore. No, no, you gotten no. over it. Yeah. This marriage is it. fresh, new. But they have a similar personality, right? The two of them. Uh, you can definitely tell they're like brothers. I see different, like, little mannerisms that are the same, but yep. I'd say it's completely different. <laughs> <laughs> is there uh, pressure, though, because this is, you have one of the, I think it's five champions or six champions that have come back that have that Mirabelle trophy. Mm -hmm. Is there pressure because of that? There is, because, you know, when you get somebody and people go, oh, we'll see what they can do. We don't know. So then you just surprise them. But with these guys, especially with the past winners and people who nearly won, 
everybody kind of like, they better be good first week out. Well, I'm not going to put that much pressure on you. <laughs> but, um, but, you know, there, there is expectations for sure. So it's, just, it's actually up to us as professionals to make sure we give them strong content to showcase their ability. Do you feel like the people who got to come back with the person who they either won with or you know took second or third with, do they have an edge because they've been with that partner, they have a, a thing going already? I think I actually think they kind of cancel each other out because I think you know if you have somebody you already know, you already know each other. There's this ling you know lingo and but I also feel that the, like a new partnership for me. I'm glad that I have somebody new because I, it's like fresh, it's exciting. I get to like discover and you know, explore different things that I haven't seen before and it's it's sort of a, a new, fresh look. So, I like that. Yeah. What do you think of some of your competition, some of the people who you're competing against? Because before, it was, everybody was new and fresh, like he said, and now these are champions. It's I, not, you know, you were at the top of the heap and now there's a lot of you at the top of the heap. I'd say it's intimidating, but I think the the level of playing field is, I don't know, it's a lot higher than it used to be. I mean, we've all been through it, we all know we're you know, getting ourselves back into, and everybody's super competitive. Gilles is extremely competitive, being as we were on the same season, mm -hmm. and Apollo, fellow Olympian. So there's a lot of like tension, but it's good. Well, so, let me uh, tell you a lot of tension. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> let me tell you a little something that Gilles had to say <laughs> that he told us about you. Mm -hmm. He said that when you were on each other's season, he really wanted you to win because you were 17, mm -hmm. but now you're 20, and he has no pity. So well, bring it. I really right. don't want to let him, like, I don't want to let him win. I don't know. You know what? I don't want, yeah. I'm still going to beat him. I have to. I tell you, I hold the phone. Hold the phone. This is so not my, this is so not my talk. My talk is, I, this, that's all you. That's not really me. What's your talk? <laughs> My talk, I, I'm so not into that, like, I'm going to beat you. You're not into that. trash talk. I'm really not. I, I like to do my trash talking with my moves. <laughs> <laughs> that's sort that of... That one in particular. That's sort of where my, the loudest, my loudest roar comes from is when I do like a little... Ah, ah. <laughs> that's, that's so how take I, that, Jill. That's how I trash talk. <laughs> this thing right here, but like the silent assassin. And then I just bust out an arm. <laughs> and it gets all over. Okay, so will we see some of those gymnastic moves in these dances? Um, ask the choreographer. Yeah, we'll you see. never know. I've already, I've already put one in, into my a gymnastic move into my day-in-day -day life. Yes. Day -day oh, good. Life. Yeah, it's, it's this one. <laughs> You're doing it wrong. That's Sean, I, you did it wrong, right? How did you do it? He has to do the hand. Show me. But then, but, but how do you do to each corner? Go. Yeah, to each judge. To each judge? But how many judges are there? Eight. So you have to go. <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is that what you did? No, oh, there's four on each side. Oh, it's four on each side. I was like, thank you, four. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Okay. See, she's teaching you something. See? Yes. This is what's happening here. It's a complete and utter package. <laughs> so you, uh, you have officially retired from gymnastics. Was uh -huh. that a hard decision? It was. It was extremely hard. It's all I've ever known since I was three. And it's just kind of been my life, my career. And working for the Comeback for London, I, I didn't want to retire, but my body kind of didn't give me a choice. And I don't know, I'm ready to move on, but it's, it's kind of bittersweet. And I, it's funny to hear at 20 talking about retiring, you know, but that's, yeah. I mean, that's... It's a little for our sport. sport. Right, yeah. for your sport, it is. How proud of you, uh, what you were, Gabby, because I know she trained at your yeah. gym. I was extremely proud. You know, I've seen her, she moved to our gym two years ago, and I've kind of seen her progress and grow into the, the girl that she was competing as. And... Um, it's impressive. She's made leaps and bounds and she kind of led the team and we took home the gold, the first one since 96 and um, it, was, it was really cool. I got to be in the stands with her family and watch and it meant I, a lot. I have to say, I watched her, um, her gold medal balance beam routine in 2008 in Beijing yesterday and dang man, like she, that was really good because I watched this year's Olympics, I can watch all the balance beams, everybody was really good but then I watched hers and I was like, damn. Were you watching for to get some ideas? No, I was just watching. Or just watching just, to watch. I was just watching to be like, <laughs> yes. That's my partner. That's my partner. <laughs> Nailing it. It yeah. was amazing to see what she can do. It's incredible. And what's funny is that she she can do all those flips on this four inch balance beam, yet her biggest nemesis are stairs. Really? She can't in, seem to in, walk on stairs. In the Dancing with the Stars routine? I don't know if you remember, but season eight opener, I fell down the stairs. Yeah. So I was like, we're gonna do this on the stairs. She's like, no, 
Please, just, let's just stay it's away like from One those step is like see. three of those balance beams. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah, but I told you, we stay on one. We don't have to like go up and Okay, down. so going in, going like from side to side is, is too crazy. Yeah. In straight line all day long. I can walk in a straight line. Okay. With my eyes closed. Well, that's, that's great. <laughs> So uh, I just want to ask you about Gabby. Would you what what advice would you offer to her? Like, because you did it. I mean, you came out of this and you've made a career and you did Dancing with the Stars. What would you tell her to do? Um, just remember what's important. I feel like especially after the Olympics, they're put on such a whirlwind of they go on the tour. It's 58 cities this year, and just all the publicity that's coming their way. She needs to kind of remember her family and everything because you can lose track of that really easily. Yeah, yeah. She, she did. She, she went off the, the rails. Stars. This one Me? went off the rails. This one yes. crazy. She did. She <laughs> went way up. Just kidding. She's what doing. Would, she's doing great. Things. Yeah. She's got so much. What will you do after Dancing with the Stars? Now that you're retired and all that. Oh gosh, I have no idea. I'm still trying to figure out. But this is quite the platform. I think it brings a lot of opportunity and um, chances to try stuff that, that's new. And being as I'm no longer in gymnastics, I got to find something new. Jin jin jin. How are you adjusting to Derek being your partner? How are you adjusting, Sean? I'm adjusting pretty well. <laughs> it's different, but it's fun. He's fun to keep up with. Have you adjusted to the height difference? Because Mark was shorter and it was easier, probably. Right? Yeah, Mark was shorter and smaller, so. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. You're taller and bigger and everything. What? <laughs> Teacher, you go. <laughs> Me so well. Um <clears throat> But no, the height difference. Uh, 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 sorry. The height difference. I don't think it's that big of an issue. It's but not. You just have to squat down a little more. Yeah. I'm, I squat. I don't have to do anything. Are you wearing higher heels this, this season? I am. Are okay, you wearing heels fine. right now? Yeah. Oh, it's okay, babe. Okay. He's always making the short jokes. Yeah. Mm. Mm. That's a love, though. <laughs> What's the biggest challenge so far? Biggest challenge so far is is that probably I would say is the high thing. But but what we're dealing with coping. We're coping well. Thank you for asking. It's okay. Yeah. It's all right. <laughs> we're getting by. We're getting through. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, you know what's interesting actually is is the dynamic of coming in and her kind of already knowing the language. Mm -hmm. Oh, I do this, do that. She's like, okay. So for me, it's like, oh, okay, so. You start out on a whole new level. Yeah, it's different, and everybody is like that. Everybody's starting on a whole new level, so. Dun, dun, dun. It's gonna be interesting, the expectations are high. When you put on the <coughs> shoes, did it all come back to you? No, not at all. Well, it's kind of like starting new, because I'm not with Mark anymore, and having to like, get used to a new partner and everything. And I haven't danced in three years. So I kind of went back to gymnastics and got used to that again. So. Yeah. Uh, the knee's holding up pretty well. There's good days and bad days. I yeah. think that it will always be like that. But it's doing good. Yeah. Do you wear a brace during practice or anything? You just kind of let it go? No, I just let it go. I've never really worn a brace, even with gymnastics. Maybe so. you should. I don't think it Maybe. 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 They'll just, just contain it. Your eyes look especially beautiful today. <laughs> Thank you. Yours, too. You look especially handsome. Oh, thank you. Yeah. But seriously, what color are your eyes? They change. They are. What color are they today? I don't know. I they're, like they're like green hazel. But just wait till you get a day when they're like gold. It's kind of weird. They are gold. Yeah. Just like you. <laughs> thank you. A golden child. <laughs> a little moment there. Sorry. I say the most intimidating thing is just being wrapped up in it all. I mean, it's it's real. I'm back on the show and competing, and I I don't want to say I have a title to defend, but everybody's kind of going after the same thing. So. It's not like you can slack off at all. Personally, I think it would be hilarious and awesome to see Michaela Maroney on it. She has so much sass and attitude and just, you I mean, like, she could outdo sass your me? face. Yeah. She, hold on, let's just say that in a sentence. She could outdo my face. <laughs> that, that, first of all, is the best thing I've ever heard come out of your mouth. Let's keep that and maintain that. Okay. I'm gonna outdo your face. <laughs> That's it. My talk, I, I'm so not into that. Like, I'm gonna beat you. You're not into trash talk. I'm really not. I, I like to do my trash talking with my moves. <laughs> <laughs> with my moves. My moves. 
There are some fighting moves, too. We're one week away from dancing the stars, all stars, and former winner Sean Johnson has teamed up with the champ, Derek Huff. We should say your dog just ran off. Let's bring your little doggy in here. Come here, buddy. Yeah. Oh, what is the story of this? Is this the team mascot here for the dancing? He is. He's, yes. he's, he's, he's exci a little excited right now. He's all the, the things, but No, he's great, man. He's, uh, he's the love of my life. It's Definitely. a rescue dog? When did you, when did you get the... Uh... I got him a month ago. A month ago, and he was actually going to be put down on the day. And uh, they luckily saved him. And then I got him from a place called Barks and Bitches, which is a place where they foster animals there. And it's, uh, it's a great place. He's so cute. I want to say before we went on, he ran out and Billy thought it was the bear. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> he, he, he jumped up. Well, I mean, all I saw was a corner oh. of a corner of my eye. I thought yeah. there was a Kodiak bear. You know, oh. there's one coming out here later. By the way, it's your okay. dog dances? Did I hear this right? Did he? Uh, what? He, he's a multi talented animal. In the studio. Oh, wait, is that? Oh, look. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> You're in love. Oh, my gosh. I didn't know you had that footage. That's amazing. Oh, By the way, if he, wants, if he wants another partner, fellow animal, there is that bear backstage. We could bring yeah. him and I could dance together. That bear was gorgeous. Gorgeous. So the three yeah, of us are feeding bear. him grapes. Imagine a yeah. slow dance between that thing, that. What, what is the name of that bear? Um, I don't, it's a Kodiak bear. Beast. I we mean, need to name it something cute. I don't know if it has a name. But we were feeding it yeah. at one point. It reached up and grabbed Derek with its paw. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, was like, uh, 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 I was like, is this normal? No. No, that, those, that's a serious animal. The bear's name is Tag. I've Tag been told is the cute. bear's name is Tag. Oh, we're going to Tag have so much and fun. Romy? Tag and Romy. Romy. That could be a good thing. It's a, it sounds like a sitcom. I don't know if they should be in the same room, though. Yeah, maybe not. Yeah. No, probably not. Now, Johnson, um, you are a champ. You are a returning champ. You beat Gilles Marini. You've got a mirror ball under your belt. Gilles was here recently and said, not this time. He's coming hard at you. Who do you see as your main competition out there? It's hard to say oh, right at this exact yeah. moment. We'll find out when we the first show and see the fan favorites. But I There's think, so many good ones. Yeah, everyone's good. And even the ones who didn't come back with a mirror ball trophy, they're coming back even like more motivated to get this one. So yeah. I don't think anybody can be underestimated. Is, I mean, definitely not. Ballas upset because you won it with Ballas. And now you're with oh. his wingman writer, his compadre. It's like, it, it, she's I feel like, like I'm cheating on him, actually. <laughs> yeah. Well, you did. Not anymore, right? <laughs> not anymore. We're, we've all, yeah. we're all settled in yeah. now. All and he, settled but he in. got double Bristol because he had Bristol uh, as well, a season yeah. pass, mm -hmm. so he got Bristol again. But That's Sabrina right. was also his partner, and she's back on with Louie. Yeah. So it's all, it's all very yeah. incestuous in the, in the, in the Dance with the Stars uh, Will season. Ballas give you any pointers or anything about what works well for Sean? Or um, no, I, not really, mm -hmm. no. I, Completely I've, new partnership. And different teaching styles. Right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. You're yeah. very small. How tall are you, Sean? <laughs> I'm like five foot. All right, yeah. so like 4'11", because everybody yeah, every really rounds <laughs> up a little bit. What, is it hard to dance with somebody that small, or do you... There's, I found a few. There's been a few. Um, he likes to make excuses. I wear like four inch heels. Come it's on. It's pretty amazing, actually, that she even walks in those. But uh, no, I, I misplace her sometimes. <laughs> definitely, I'll be dancing with her, and she'll just disappear. I'm he like, likes the Sean? short jokes. Sean? <laughs> yeah. She's like, she's like way, a little gymnast. I do them all day here because I'm not that tall of a guy. But when I'm with <laughs> kid who's four eleven, it's incredibly stroking yeah. to the ears. Actually, five she's, she's yeah, actually my first five. partner that I've had that's been younger than me too. Everybody else has been older than me, so this is, so that's different as well. Have and the rumors started already about y'all hooking up and kissing and you have your shirt off while you're coaching her? <laughs> again, again, different, because she's very, much younger than me, too. <laughs> so it's a different dynamic altogether, but, uh, but it's great. I, I, loved, I love dancing with her. She's, she's fantastic. How does it feel to be retired, Sean? Uh, it feels weird. Retired People are like, you're field. retired. I'm like, it doesn't mean I'm like on sailboats or anything. I'm still working, but... It's pretty, it's strange to be like, yeah, I'm retired. A lot of people don't understand that. Was it hard to watch the Olympics, watch the gymnastics? Yeah, it was, it was difficult. I mean, sitting in the stands and knowing that I'd worked so hard to be down on the competition floor with the team was difficult, but uh, they're like my sisters. And I was sitting with Gabby's family and I was, she's trained with me for two years as well. And um, I don't know, it was I fun. Watched, I watched some of her videos for the first time um, from Beijing and I thought, I, when I was watching this this year, I really got into the Olympics and watching the gymnasts and stuff, and I was like, wow, that's amazing. And then I watched some of her videos, and I was even more blown away, like when she won gold on that balance beam. It was unbelievable. It's incredible. So I, was, I have mad respect for this, this okay. woman right here. Thank you. She's an incredible athlete. Well, we're, good luck again. Where's that? Bring your Rome. dog, Romy. Let's get some dancing. Romy, come here, buddy. Can we have some music? Come, come here, buddy. Come here. Come here.
Hey, buddy. Let's have a little. Let's have a little dance. Can, oh. I want to see you dancing. He Can might you be dancing. Dance? Oh. oh, look at this. Oh. He just wants to. He's stop. content. No, he's just content. Like, hey, he's he's on. On. What he's the heck is <laughs> over there? There's <laughs> something over there. He keeps darting off. Bacon. Over there. There's he's gotta got to be bacon. He's got a treat over there or something. Someone's wearing bacon underwear. Uh, that's 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 maybe it's the lingerie I can't exactly right over there. All right, good luck out there. Can't good wait luck, to see you in action. Right. Thank you. The Huffer. The Huffer. And Sean Johnson in action. Dance with the Stars. All Stars premieres September 24th, a week from today at 8. Is there, you know, he and, and Mark go back a long way. So is their style that different in teaching? Or do um, you feel a little familiar? They definitely have different techniques and styles of teaching and I know you see some similarities, but a lot of differences, and it's just different. Just different. Just That's, different. She, got, she has to say different, but really she's saying she likes. Me. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, you have to have a new partner every time, so you're used to, you know, hey, new face, new person. But mm -hmm. it's, you know, for you, last time you came in, you knew what you were going to get. So, you know, mm -hmm. is there any way you prepare differently? And well, it's, for me, normally the first couple of weeks are literally teaching your partner how to walk literally like how to walk in latin shoes and okay and this is your left foot no your other left foot no your other left foot um and it's, it was kind of exciting to come in in like the first day be like oh we can start choreographing now because you already kind of have the basics and the foundation um and so it, it was nice i think everybody sort of has that experience mm -hmm. so far in the all-star season so what are you guys doing on monday this uh, monday we were dancing the foxtrot and it's going to be interesting some people are dancing the cha-cha some people are dancing the foxtrot and it's good. It suits us because it's a very fun, light, mm -hmm. you know, happy dance. And I feel like we're a sort of a fun, light, happy couple. All American. Yeah. Give me that. Did you yeah. do the foxtrot? Yes. The, I did the foxtrot, but it's definitely, I would say it's completely different than the foxtrot I did back in season eight. This one's a lot more high-paced and energetic. Yeah. It's like hard to get through one of, like, the whole dance. Uh, do you feel like they're pushing you a little harder because he knows that you've already got this other, you know, season under your belt? Are you pushing me a little harder? I haven't even begun to push no. you. No? I haven't even begun. <laughs> uh -oh. It's been very, it's been very... But no, what's interesting is, like, where we're starting this season is, mm. like, where we left off last season. Mm -hmm. So the level's definitely been... A lot higher. Great. And expectations for everybody. So we have to make sure that we, you know raise our expectations because everybody else will be so it's gonna be tough well, given with her stature and her other gymnastic talents is your mind just racing all the time with what you can do with her um do you know what would be great is if it, i have lots of ideas but unfortunately <laughs> a lot of those ideas i can't do because a lot of them require lifts and there's no lifts involved in this competition so it really limits that sort of creative aspect of what i could do with her you know um so yeah Right? So we're just going to go all the way to the freestyle to, to, to see that. Because no. we have... No pressure. We have had some... We, we've been... We actually tried. We went to the yeah. gym yesterday, the gymnastics gym. We played and around And she was teaching me bit. some stuff. And uh, we played around with a few little things, but we can't really do them on the show because mm -hmm. they're, they're less. This whole process is definitely different just because you add into it so many different aspects. There's... I have the Maribel trophy already. Mm -hmm. I'm going up against... Jill and Melissa, who are like one, two, and three. Right. I'm also going against my former partner. All right. And his, basically his brother mm. is my new partner. Yeah. So, makes it interesting. I'm definitely nervous. I feel like I'm a little bit intimidated by everything, this whole process again. A little nervous about my knee. Not sure how it's going to hold up since that's the reason I had to retire from gymnastics. Mm. I've invited and talked to all the girls, the whole Fierce Five, and they want really badly to be in the front row to support us one week but they're on tour right now so it just depends on their schedule hopefully maybe Michaela could come see us so. yeah right yeah i think if we make it far enough their tour finishes before the finale mm, so who knows we know their names we remember those moves Tonight, all our Dancing with the Stars favorites step out for the Season 15 All-Star Premiere. Well, after they work out some last-minute kinks, of course. Um, we're working on a, a, a move that's illegal in yeah. uh, 50 states. It's, uh, it's called the Triple Axel 900,000 Double Twist Samba Roll. Get you two, me. It might save my marriage. <laughs> <laughs> sound, like, sound like something good. Yeah.